I don't know if this video will survive uh, being on YouTube. It may be taken down for the dreaded misinformation. Who knows? But here we go. If you're watching this, obviously it hasn't been taken down, which is a good thing. But as you can tell from the title, I'm raging against Baroness Misha. I think she hates life. She actually hates life. I'm talking about the Misha bill or the assisted dying bill, which died a sorry death in 2015 when it was presented to parliament. It uh, was outvoted by 330 to about 115 vo votes, if I remember well. It's a victory, but I'm concerned that there were actually 115 members of parliament who thought it was a good idea to make assisted dying, euthanasia, or murdering the, the vulnerable. Uh, they were going to make that law in this country. There were 115 representatives of the public in government who thought it's a good idea to make euthanasia. What a, uh, what a euphemism, euthanasia. It's murder. They were going to make that legal. But it didn't pass in 2015. It's getting a second reading or I can't remember, maybe the second reading on the 22nd of October. But there is a lot of stake here. We cannot be complacent. People should be writing to their MPs, telling them not to vote for this bill. Life is sacred. Life is a gift from God. Life is sacred because we are not cattle. We are not beef. We are image bearers. We are made in the image of God, whether black, white, man, woman, disabled, elderly, young. Every life deserves protection. Every life deserves protection. If we do not fight for the protection of one group of people, guess what? There'll be no one to support you when they come for you. Remember what happened to the Jews in the Second World War? No one would stand up for them. And, surprise, surprise, it wasn't just the Jews that were being killed by Nazi Germany. It was the disabled. It was the homosexuals. It was the Negroes. Perhaps not so much the Negroes, because there weren't that many black people in Germany. But they were on the undesirable list for Nazi Germany. Every life deserves protection because we are made in the image of God. If we legalize murder, giving it a, the euphemism, euthanasia, assisted dying. Here, let me just push you over the edge. You were near enough anyway. I'll just kick you along. We will not be a civilized society anymore. It will be the law of the jungle. The Meacher bill must not go through. We must not support Baroness Meacher in her hatred for life. Assisted dying, euthanasia or murder will put pressure on vulnerable people to uh, put, put themselves forward to be killed. It will put people that have disabilities under pressure to not be a burden to society. They may be encouraged, overtly or otherwise, to put themselves forward for assisted dying, euthanasia. Suicides actually go up in countries that have legalized euthanasia. And what an undignified way to die. People call it digni dying with dignity. Where is the dignity in taking your life where is the dignity in selfishly taking your life? And where is the dignity in those practitioners who put themselves forward to administer this? I'm encouraged that the BMA British Medical Association has come out narrowly against this. But what's even more fascinating is people that work in palliative care, in hospices, 
are the ones that are most against assisted dying or euthanasia or murder of the vulnerable. That is telling. We must not put up with this. We are England. We have been shaped by Christianity. We are not savages. Assisted dying is just murder. Let's not put up with this. Let's not put up with this. Let's not put up with Baroness Misha and her bill because Baroness Misha hates life.